Conditional suppression gives the Autodesk Inventor user the ability to suppress a part based on the value of a parameter. This is helpful when you're creating parts with different configurations without having to use the iParts function. In this video, I'll show you how to add parameters and use conditional suppression. To illustrate how to use conditional suppression, I'm going to take this plate that I've created here and add a little bit more functionality to it. Right now, it's basically just a rectangular plate with two holes in it, but let's say that one of my alternative designs is a square plate with four holes in it. To show this, I'm going to go up here to my Manage tab, and I'm going to go to my Parameters. <clears throat> and you'll see that when I created this, I gave it a named parameter here that is called Width, and it has a size of one and a quarter inches. But if I want this to be a square plate, I want the width to be equal to the height, so I want that also to be two and a half inches. So what I, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in this square, and I'm going to choose Make It Multi-Value, which is going to give me the ability to come in here and add a different value of 2.5 inches to this, uh, to this value. I'll choose Add here, and then OK. And then you'll notice now that instead of just having the one value, that there's this second drop down here, and I can change the value of my plate. So if I choose two and a half and choose done, then I end up with this plate um, having the ability here to, uh, you know, be square instead of just rectangular. But the thing that it doesn't have is it doesn't have the other two holes here. So to add those other two holes, I'm going to just going to go to 3D Model, and I'm going to add a, um, a rectangular pattern. And so I'm going to say the feature that I want to pattern is the hole, <clears throat> and my direction is going to be in this direction, and I want one and a quarter inches between the two sets of holes. I'll say OK. And so now this is my alternative um, setup. And this looks great. The problem is, is if I decide that I want to go back to the original setup where it's just rectangular and not square, um, it causes a problem. And let me demonstrate this. So I'll go back to manage here. <clears throat> I'll choose my parameters. I'm going to say, let's switch back to the one and a quarter value. And it at, gives me this little notification. It says that, you know, there are problems that are encountered. And I'm just going to say, okay, let's go ahead and accept those. And I can close this. Well, everything looks fine until you look over here in the history browser. And you'll see that for my rectangular pattern, we have the little badge here that says, hey, there's a problem with this. And as I hover over that rectangular pattern, you can see that there are two holes out in the middle of Nowheresville here. Okay, and that's obviously you know, going to cause, could cause some possible problems in the future. So in order to solve this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add conditional formatting to this rectangular pattern, all right? In order to add that conditional, uh, conditional formatting, conditional suppression, I'm going to right click on it, <clears throat> right click on that, and then I'm going to come down here to properties, and when the properties, uh, feature pop properties window comes up it says okay this is the thing that i'm editing and what i want to do is i want to suppress it if in this case my width is equal to and i'll change this from you know less than i'll say equal to and then my other value there was 1.25 those are the only two values that i have entered there and so i'll say okay You'll notice now that when I've done that, that the little icon, the little badge there that says, hey, there's a problem here has gone away, and you'll see that it's suppressed. So now if I go back to parameters, and I say, let's make this at two and a half, we'll say, okay, done. It unsuppresses it, and it shows it with four holes. And if again, if I go back and I change it back to one and a quarter, and say done, we still don't have that problem. So super easy way to add a little more functionality to your parts without having to create the full iPart. 